Okay. We know now what to do. We know now what to do. We found their officer. The battle was fierce. I got wounded again. Many of their soldiers roaming the battlefield. The mages were strong and brave. And they held their ground. They even had this cool tree person, which is absolutely insanely amazing. And there was a mage that didn't even have to do anything. But it was tough. If only I could lure this tree person onto the commander. But I couldn't. This was my task. And I had to complete it. The mages of Kurgorglade were counting on me. And that's what they are still. And that's why. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. Come on. Come on, babe. Come on. I got you good. I got you good. I got you good. Haha. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And boom. Boom. I can craft rare equipment in the Lannis jungle. That is nice. That is level 3 and we are definitely gonna use the uh, and need that. Now imagine if we got XP. Imagine like those endless battlefields where you could just fight it out and it's I love it. I love it. Stuff like that. It's it's just like the immersion you are here taking part of this battle against the Steel Empire which absolutely sucks balls and there we go. Haha. -ha. I got some gloves. Oh. Okay, a bow. We don't care about the bow. This one is so happy. Oh, okay, we died. Haha. <laughs> we died. But we did our part. The airships wouldn't bother us for too long, as the commander was dead. Our task was done. So, now see. That was challenging. Okay, and there's another one. I, I wanted to go back to the city to see what we can, like, craft and um, buy, of course, as well. We, we, d we do now actually have enough money for the hang glider. That is definitely something... That I I want to I want to achieve. We we need to buy that hang glider, and then we'll be gliding. We will be gliding. Unfortunately, this jungle doesn't have like such high mountains. Am I? Is what I'm saying. Well, I'm standing right in front of a high mountain. Also, also something the cube world alpha had like nicer terrain. Like it it had more um, elevation changes where. The mountains there were really, really high. Which made it so much nicer to just spend I don't know how many minutes to just get on top of one and then finally, like, jumping off it with your hang glider and just just gliding over the forest. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, you... Especially when you could, like, see other mobs or NPCs that... Perhaps I'm even stronger than you. Like this one. Didn't do anything, sir. Um, around you. And you could just... Have this piece glide over them. That's what they do really well. Like you have action, but it's so well balanced. With um, peaceful moments of like walking, hiking and adventuring. Um, yeah, I love that game. I love that game. And now... That I installed a mod that I can look at it without having my eyes burned out of their sockets um, because of the saturation. Um, I love it even better. So, ah, by the way, I don't know if you can see anything. I can. So let's turn on the light. But I think the um, the the brightness is at night is quite fine. You can still see stuff. If not, let me know. Um, so, what is going to come here? First of all, like always, 
If there is a quest, there will be a Shrine of Life, and here it is. So on our left, we, we have something to discover. I, I think some lore pieces or whatever. And then a little bit further, there will be the Shrine of Life. And then we can enter the Pyramid or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go venture. Oh, banana. Always good. Okay, we have too many bananas. One cannot have too many bananas. We, we could sell them. Dragon root. Are you friend? You are not friend. But you are weak. Remember when we met those first nulls and they were not super strong, but they were compared to us, they were quite they were doing well. Okay. Unlike us. Okay, there will be some gnolls here. I guess. No? Okay. Also good. Corley was born in the mountains. <laughs> wow. <laughs> later she moved to the Olon Savannah. Many years later, the Armander cult was established by her. Okay. I wanted to make fun of the lore, and then I thought... I shouldn't. Okay. This direction is the right one. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> we are going to find our Shrine of Life and then we will be unbeatable. It's, it's quite far away from the pyramid. Um, I am I'm very curious what we are going to discover there. Who is going to be waiting for us? What, whoever it will be, it's gonna be a challenge for sure. I mean, you saw even this like little level two boss fight was. Are you kidding me? What are those? What are those monstrosities? And why are they so close to my shrine of life? Are those flamingos? Like flamingo, yeah. And what else? I, I uh, seriously no. We're not. We're not gonna interfere. Is that a gin or Langor? A possessed flamingo. Okay, I do not care. I do not care. This is what I care about. Saving the game. Respawning. Actually, now we can respawn. So we technically could try and beat Langor. Okay, no, no way are we going to beat this Gnoll. It actually makes me a little bit scared about what is to come. Oh, here you see, this is the edge of the biome. Okay, 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 where are we though? Oh, we are so far away from the village, look at that. And what is that? That looks so interesting. I want to see it all. Especially, if only I had some healing potions, that would be nice. But also we saw a couple of traders and I was just too stupid to, to buy some heart flowers. Could easily afford some. But I am not smart enough to buy proper equipment. So let's see. There is the pyramid. Right in front of our, our eyes, we we can't really see it yet. It's too dark for that, as you as you can see. Uh, you can see the darkness. The Temple of Ansen. If this one is going to be too too hard for us, I'm gonna respawn at the shrine. I'm gonna try to check out this other location that looked so cool. Cause okay. Can I go in? I don't see anything. I mean, okay, okay. Is there no light in that temple of Ansen? Is Ansen a bat? Where are we going? I'm a little bit scared. I mean, it's so dark. Usually those, those dungeons are lit.
there is light. And where there is light, there are enemies. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Two. Two zombies. Okay. I don't know, it's it's a bit creepy. But we are doing well. I just wish there were more candles. Oh, is that a healing potion? It it was something red. Okay. Um 103. This is even better. Okay. Ah. Yeah, we don't have any armor for, for Rogue. Which is a bit unfortunate. Come on. Frogmen. Now we dealt with the zombies. Now there's frogmen. Those don't look too friendly. I mean, they, they kind of do look friendly. Oi! Leave me alone. Leave me be. And they dropped a ginseng soup. That was so important. Nice. Nice. Here, that's what I think of you. You're kind. Okay. A level 2 steel armor. Let me quickly check if we can actually wear this. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Okay. Did you drop ginseng soup as well? Would have loved that. But didn't. Okay, there's a gnoll over there. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Aren't water mages supposed to heal people? Okay, we have snowberry mash. We have ginseng soup. So we do have the opportunity to, to heal ourselves. So far, we don't need to because those... Mobs are quite easy to defeat. Uh, fly! The fly had money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you are creepy. You are creepy. Okay, and now I will eat something. Because, you know. This is place is too creepy for me. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? At some point. There is the end boss. Now, I just have the question, can we defeat it? There is like some What? We also have bombs. Okay, that was interesting. So. Are you kidding me? What kind of pets does this djinn have? Oh, 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 discovered, discovered. Come on, get the gin, get the gin, get the gin, get the gin. That was so close. Did you see how close that was? Okay, we gotta go in, we gotta go in again.